back here at Queen's Park. And as promised, I have two prominent political strategists here. We have Jason Leader, who is a conservative strategist. He worked with Stephen Harper and Jim Warren. You are a liberal strategist, worked with Dalton McGinty, whose picture is right over there on that wall. Let's talk about this day. First, the bombshell book by Patrick Brown. Do you think it's going to do any damage to this government? Uh, I think at the end of the day, it hinders the government in terms of communicating what their agenda is and what they want to talk about. But Doug Ford is not going to lose the next election based on anything that's in the Patrick Brown book. At the end of the day, it's a lot of white noise for the Premier. The trick will be for him to sort of steady the ship, stop talking about the controversies, and focus the communication strategy on the things he wants to achieve as Premier. Because it's been quite a whirlwind ever yeah. since the allegations against Jim Wilson. Now, there are a couple more people have fallen in this government, and Patrick Brown is lobbing some new grenades. Jason, do you think it's going to hurt at all? It's been a, it's been a rocky couple of weeks, but I think the one thing about the Patrick Brown allegations is they brought everybody together. It's funny, you know, you have a rocky couple of weeks, the one thing you need is an outside enemy. Well, they've sure got one with this guy. What he said about Lisa McLeod has unified people in a way that is sort of disgraceful comments on her uh, on her mental health issues. Just really brought everybody together and you saw in the in the house there today, I think everybody was one team unified looking outwards. So, to Jim's point, listen, there's some issues. There's always going to be, but they had a good day today. They got a message out on low, uh, on sort of a low income tax cut. They got a mess some message out on mental health issues. Um, there's going to be some controversy for sure, but I think they had a good day today. Did it hurt Patrick Brown? I mean, what was his end game here? This guy keeps alleging murder, and it's a suicide. He just keeps committing suicide one time after another. This guy, he just he's, his judgment is horrible. He's being clouded by sort of vindictive, vindict, vindictiveness, I would say. And he just keeps making mistakes. I mean, the mistakes, I think his reputation went, went from here or wherever it was down a couple of levels over the last couple of days amongst all three parties. I think liberals, conservatives, media, everybody looks and says, what, what the hell is this guy doing? And yet he's a brilliant campaigner. He just yeah. took the mayoralty of Brampton. Is it going to hurt Brampton, what he wrote in that book with this government? I don't think it's going to hurt Brampton per se, but I do think it's going to hurt Patrick Brown long term. And so he focused his attack on so many people. He really crossed the bounds when he went after Lisa McLeod. And the interesting thing about it is his attack on Lisa was unnecessary. It was actually very disgusting and it gave Doug Ford the chance to look like the premier. And that's really uh, Doug Ford. I don't feel like he looks like a premier in the legislature, but man, does he ever on Twitter and social media, the way he responded to the Lisa McLeod attacks was very statesman-like, very premier-like. And ironically, Patrick Brown has given Doug Ford the absolute best opportunity to shine as a premier. What do you think about the allegation against Vic Fidelli of sexual impropriety? Is there a double standard with how Jim Wilson was treated versus Vic Fidelli? Listen, I don't know anything about this allegation other than what I read about it months ago. I mean, this was, as I think we all know, this was, this was all over Twitter months ago. The allegation was out there. Uh, I think Vic tried to deal with it at the time. I don't know anything about the allegation. All I know is I saw a very strong symbol of a bunch of people in yellow today. It tells me that the caucus is unified behind him. And frankly, the allegation, which hasn't really been operated as far as I can tell. A couple of media outlets have told me that they investigated and couldn't really find anything. So I think that one they're trying to put behind them. I think it will be put behind, behind them unless other, other things come to light. Uh, Mr. Wilson, those were serious allegations. Ford dealt with them immediately. I think the Fidelity kind, it just doesn't seem like the same thing. The Wilson issue was interesting. They didn't come full disclosure right away, but again, it was fascinating to watch Ford. When he had that live news conference, he handled it very statesmanlike and looked like a premier again. What I find a little bit rich, again, I'd love to pound on the Tories for this issue, but Patrick Brown is the one who says he's the victim. He was alleged and had these sort of half uh, allegations, and he's the one now throwing mud at his former colleagues. I'm surprised that, that he would do this in a book when he himself is the person who said he had these unfounded allegations that for him to sort of, uh, again, uh, try and uh, keep these allegations moving forward more against somebody when he himself was a victim as he alleges. And I just have like five seconds left yeah. because they're wrapping me in my ear. <laughs> the fall economic statement, win or lose for this government, is it putting them on a good path with voters? I, I think they won today. I think they had a good day today. I think the tax cut is the thing that most people will see in their social media feeds and I think that that's a good day for them. You didn't expect Doug Ford to do low income tax cut and mental health and I think a lot of people will see that and be a little bit surprised. Politics is all about managing expectations and so after today they can't blame Kathleen Wynne anymore that they didn't know what was in the books or what happened. So yes, it's a win for them today because they turned the page. The bad news or good news, depending on how well he performs, Vic Fidelli and Doug Ford, it's any problems they create from here forward are their own problems. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much. Thanks Great to talk to you.